We're going to take a look at the unit review packet. Uh, we're going to have two or maybe three videos. We'll start with the multiple choice and then we'll get see how far we get, right? So uh, find the nearest unit rate for the situation. So we have 336 kilometers in eight hours and we have kilometers per hour. The nice thing about these uh, unit rate tests is that the unit the units will tell you what to do what's well, another way word for per divide so they're asking you to divide 336 by 8 and you get 42 simple um, traveling 209 kilometers in five hours kilometers divided by hours so 209 divided by 5, right here. Solve the proportion. Now, there are a couple ways we can solve proportions. Uh, this one I'm going to do uh, as a fraction, and I'm going to reduce it. I know that 3 goes into 21 and 8. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. 8 to 18 divided by 3 is 6. So now I have 7 over 6. Well, I know if I multiplied 7 by 4, I get 28. So I multiply 6 by 4, and I get 24. Number 4, oh, well, we're not going to be able to reduce 8 ninths. So what I'm going to do for number 4 is I'm going to use cross multiplication. It's another strategy you can use. I'm going to multiply across the equal sign. So I have 2 times 8 is equal to 9 times x. Well, 2 times 8 is 16, which is equal to 9x. What's the opposite of 9 times x? Well, divide it by 9. So something times 9 is 16. So 16 divided by 9 is 1.7 repeating. Rounded to the nearest tenth would be c, 1.78. An astronaut who weighs 126 pounds on Earth <coughs> weighs only clear this weighs only 21 pounds on the moon. How much would a person who weighs 25 pounds on the moon weigh on Earth? Well, I'm going to make a ratio of Earth weight to moon weight. And so everything with the Earth will be in the numerator, everything in the, in the moon will be in the denominator. So we have 126, that's an Earth weight, it's 21 on the moon. I don't know what this one is, and I know that on Earth, or on the moon, they weigh 25. Obviously this person is going to weigh more than 126 pounds. For this one, I would suggest cross-multiplying. So 126 times 25 is equal to 21 times x. So <clears throat> 126 times 25 equals 3050 equals 21x. So something times 21 is equal to 3015, or sorry, 3150. So I'm going to have to divide 1350 by 21. I get 21. No, 3,150 divided by 21, and I get 150. So, a person who weighs 150 pounds on Earth will weigh 25 pounds on the Moon, which would be D, B. Question 6. Whoa. The triangle below, the triangles below are similar. Find the value of x. So, the scale factor to go from here to here is going to be two, because two times ten is twenty-one. So, going the other way, the scale factor is going to be the reciprocal, which is one half. So, what is half of twenty-four? Twelve. All right. Next page.
All right, similar triangles made by ladders. Excellent. And we're to find this height that the ladder makes it up the building. Well, I know that 24 and 30 are corresponding. So the question is, what should I multiply 24 by to get 30? Well, the way to do that is to divide 30 by 24. So it's 1.25. So that means I have to multiply this by 1.25. And so I will find that's 12 and a half. Question eight. Um, R for, uh, D for distance is equal to rate times time. So we're finding the, the missing uh, piece of that. So find, uh, find R when D is equal to 115.4. And we have R and we have a time of 1.4 hours. Well, something times 1.4 is 15.4. How would I figure that out? Well, I would divide 15.4 by 1.4, and I get 11. 11 miles an hour. For question nine, same deal. Um, I have a distance of 137.5, and that's equal to 55t. Well, I'm multiplying 55 times something to get 137.5. So go. go ahead and divide it. 137.5 divided by 55. And I get two and a half hours. D. give it to you. Sorry for the delay. Ah. There you go. Okay. Sorry about that. So here we go. Alright, so number 10. The ratio of strawberries to raspberries in a fruit smoothie drink is 4 to 12. What percent of the drink is strawberries? Now I'll tell you right now, this is the most commonly missed multiple choice question on this one. Um, and it's because of this. Four represents strawberries. Why raspberries are blue, I don't know. Twelve represents raspberries. So, how many total berries are in the drink? Well, four plus twelve is sixteen. So what percent is strawberries? Four out of 16 total berries, which is equal to 25%. B. The ratio of boys to girls in a class is two to three. There are 12 boys in the class. How many girls are there? Well, we know that two to three, and this is boys and this is girls, because it tells us in the ratio statement, is equal to 12 over x. Well, what do I multiply tw 2 by to get 12? 6. So I may need to multiply that by 6 as well, and I get 18. 18 girls. A can of Mountain Dew. Ugh, that stuff's nasty. Costs a dollar twenty-five in a vending machine, but a twelve-pack costs three forty-nine at the grocery store. How much money would you save by purchasing the Mountain Dew at the grocery store instead of the vending machine? Well, we need to figure out the cost of one can, uh, or how many can, how much it'll cost to get twelve cans from the vending machine. So one point two five times twelve, and that's not what I want. There, there we go, times 12. So that's $15, oh my gosh. So that, this is crazy.
crazy. Subtract out the 349 because that's what you'd pay anyways at the grocery store. You get 1151. Okay, I don't think I'm ever using a vending machine again. It's a ripoff. But now, of course, I would really love some soda right now. And by the way, orange is my favorite. Orange soda. Can't beat it. All right, so the next one, uh, find the value of x in this proportion. So this one, uh, I'd be tempted to reduce this because I know 3 goes into both of them. 3 goes into 6 twice, 3 goes into 21 7 times. The scale factor here is times 5, so multiply that by 5 and you get 35. 7 times 5 is 35. And now for our last multiple choice question. Um, which size Dairy Queen Blizzard gives you the best price per ounce? Per means divide. So it's dollars divided by ounces. So here we go. Uh, we have $2.49. Try again, $2.49 divided by 6. And that's 0 .1 or 0 .415. So then we have $3.49. 49 cents divided by 10, and that's much better. That's 34 cents, or 34.9 cents. And then we have $4.99 divided by 16. By the way, Dairy Queen's nasty. And then we have 7.9 six nine divided by twenty four and we've oh, that's not better so we know the large is the best option all right so I believe that is oh my gosh another page of this you gotta be kidding me who gives you this many multiple choice questions <coughs> so then number 15 uh, we want unit price per bagel per meaning divide so dollars divided by bagels Four dollars fifty cents divided by nine. Oh That's a fifty cents per bagel. Excellent. Uh, which is the best buy? So we need to do the same thing we did before. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Stoddard. It is my gift to you. All right. So we go twenty-four. Twenty-four divided by. 12, and we get $2.02. This is chess. Chess? Chess. Queen was absolutely just getting hurt. Um, 16.32 divided by 8 is 204. 18.32. Divided by 9 is 2.01. And then 22.33 divided by 11 is 2.03. I think this is the best option.